The manufacturing of tablets is performed on a tablet press, which essentially consists of an electrical unit and the tablet press area. In the tablet press area are the turret with the punches, the segments, a filling device, identical compression stations for pre and main compression, and the tablet chute. The tableting process starts with filling the material which is to be compressed. The material flows through the hopper into the filling device, where it is led by the filling cone wheel into the segment bore openings. The filling is achieved by the lower punches moving down in the fill cam so that enough material can fill in the void. The next step is to adjust the material to the correct volume. To do this, the lower punches move up in the dosing cam to adjust the right volume of material. The surplus material remains for further use in the filling device. Fine residue product, which is on the surface of the segment, is transported by a scraper blade into the inner channel. This material is again returned to the filling device and supports the filling. After the dosing, the material is pre-compressed. At the pre-compression station, the upper and lower punches move together and vent the air from the material. At the main compression station, the material is compressed to the final tablet specifications of form, thickness and hardness. At the main and pre-compression station, the upper pressure station determines the penetration depth. In combination with the lower pressure station, the web height of the tablet is defined. After the final compression of the tablet, the lower punches move upward in the ejection cam and push the tablet out of the segment bore. At the ejection station, individual tablets, which are outside of tolerance limits, can automatically be sorted out. All tablets which are within the tolerance limits are diverted by the tablet scraper into the good channel of the tablet tube and leave the press as good production. <laughs>